Red Hulk, aka the Ink Red A Bull Hulk, aka Rolk. You know what? We'll just go with Red Hulk. So, where does the MCU's new crimson creature come from? Why is he tangling with Captain America in Brave New World? And would we like him when he's angry? I have to admit, I'm still getting used to the new look. Despite Harrison Ford feigning ignorance in interviews, Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross clearly transforms into the Red Hulk in the fourth Captain America film, as his character has been doing so in the comic books since 2008, when Ross finally snapped and got dosed with gamma radiation in his Captain Ahab-esque pursuit to destroy the regular Hulk, aka Bruce Banner, for being a nerd time travel, and dating his daughter, Betty Ross. Betty Ross, who will once again be played by Liv Tyler after she's been absent from the MCU since 2008's The Incredible Hulk, also gets gamified in the comics and mutates into Red She-Hulk. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Look at me. Look at me. You have to go far away from me as you can. Don't argue with me. Just go. Go! With no Bruce Banner, Mark Ruffalo, or Green Hulk in sight, Brave New World will likely flip the script on the why and the how of Thunderbolt Ross's transformation into the Red Hulk, as it seems the new president does so to protect himself from a glowing global threat. You may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. Right. I'm not. Does that mean Captain America is a threat to America? Probably not, because the problem with a Hulk is they always go out of control and end up smashing way more than you originally want them to. <laughs> Anthony Mackie's Sam Wilson, the latest red, white, and blue shield wielder, is more likely stuck in a battle between the Red Hulk, a mysterious marauder played by Giancarlo Esposito, and Tim Blake Nelson's Samuel Stearns. Another Incredible Hulk blast from the past, who now goes by the leader because of his supersized smarts in his supersized brain. So we know our old pal Bruce Banner insists that we wouldn't like him when he's angry, because it's his rage that morphs him into the almost invincible Green Hulk. But is the same true for Thunderbolt Ross's Red Hulk? Not exactly. Instead, anger causes the Red Hulk's temperature to increase, like an NBA Jam player on an unstoppable streak. He's heating up! If Red Hulk gets too hot, he starts to weaken, which could be the Achilles heel that this new-ish cap needs to tame him. At least enough for Ross to chill out and gather up his eponymous team of reformed supervillains known as the Thunderbolts. But that's for another movie and for another IMDb Explains. We'll show the world a better way forward.